Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on how to refinish a kitchen table. A family member of ours was recently giving one away, so me and my husband went and picked it up this past weekend, and I have been spending the last two days refinishing it for our kitchen. Um, the table is at six, and it's staying like a darker wood color, but I kind of wanted like the rustic farmhouse look. So I stained the top of it, which you'll see in the video, and I also painted the bottom of it like a light cream, almost white color. Um, it turned out really good, but I'm not going to lie, there was like issues going throughout it. You learn by your mistakes, and this was the first time I had ever stained any furniture at all. So it was really fun, um, but I did mess up some, and I had to re-change how I did some things. So you'll find out in the video, and hopefully if you... Um, ever want to refinish a table this will help you out and you'll learn from my mistakes so you don't make the same ones. I'm not actually going to do the chairs today I'm going to do that in a separate video because that's a project in itself because I plan on painting them and recovering them so that's going to be a, another video later on and I really hope if you're planning on redoing any kind of furniture in the future that this tutorial will help you on it. Alright you guys so this is where we're at right now I've received this table and chair from a friend for absolutely well, actually a family member for absolutely free so I didn't pay anything and these are the chairs and my plan is to refinish them and cover them as well and I'm going to refinish and cover or paint this table so to get that done first things first we have to sand so we have our sander here and I just went to Home Depot and bought some sandpaper to do it and this pack is really cool because it has your beginning, your um, middle, and your finishing. So everything that I need is in this pack. So my first thing is I'm going to start sanding the top of the table and I'm going to sand a little on the legs because my goal is to stain this like a dark, dark walnut color and then uh, the bottom of it I think I'm going to paint like a... Um, a cream color with some kind of chalk paint which I still have to get that as well so okay we're gonna start sending and hopefully it turns out great Okay guys, as you can see, I have half of the table done now. I really like the way it turned out. I'm really questionable now what color I want to stain it because as you can see, it has a beautiful wood grain to it. And I really would like it just to kind of look natural. But as you can see, right here I'm going to wipe it away where it was the, the original finish is. It's kind of dark, and you can see the wood grain in it quite as well as you can over here. So now I'm thinking I might want to stain it a lighter color. I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure it out as I finish. However, as you can see, it is dusty. So my advice is to... I would either stain this outside or in a garage. I am in my garage right now. And we, as you can see, we work in here all the time, so it's already a mess. So I'm not really concerned about things getting dusty. But you definitely want to wear clothes that you don't care about. And um, you got to be patient because it takes a while to get it back to the natural wood. Um, I did not realize it was going to take quite as long, but you have to constantly, like, sand over it with a sander. Um... Maybe if you got a coarser sandpaper, it wouldn't take quite as long, but I'm working with an 80 grit. It's not hard work, though. I mean, the center does most of the work for you, so it's not too bad. Um, it's just not as fast as I would like progress to go, but it's okay. But I love the natural wood look, so I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do, but stick around to the end of the video to find out.
when I get done with the top, what I'm going to do is just take the sander and rub it along the legs a little and cross right here just to rough it up for the paint to stick. Um, I'm not going to take that down to the wood because I'm painting that anyway. Alright, so now that that is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the 150 sandpaper, which on the back it says 150 on it, so you'll know. Change it out on my sander, which this is the easiest job to do, guys. It's literally Velcro, and you just take that off, and you pop on your other one, and it's that simple. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the sander and just sand over the rest of the table with the uh, 150 grit just to smooth it out a little bit more and then when that is done I'll go to the 220 just to finish it off and make sure there's no rough edges and everything's smooth and ready for me to stain the wood alright now that the sanding part is finished I'm going to wipe off the top of the table with a, a old cloth that we have down here um, to get all the dust off of it and then I'm going to run to Home Depot to get the stain and come back and when I get back I'm probably going to wipe it off again just because as the dust settles um, onto the table while I'm going I want to make sure it's not on there when I start to refinish the top of the table because it will get into the um, stain and it will make it not look so nice it will get gritty and dark spots and all that so we are going to do that and then run to Home Depot. Alright guys, so I am back from Home Depot and this is what I picked up. This is a pre-stain or a wood conditioner and this is you put on this before you um, put on the stain. It's just to make sure everything goes on smooth and no blotches. And then this is the uh, wood stain that I have. It is um, worn navy. And I'm so excited. It's like a, a darker gray. So I'm excited about that. And I still think you would be able to see the uh, wood grain pretty well with this. Because if you just do, I'm going to do one layer and see what it looks like. And if I want it a little bit darker, then I can do another layer and I'll make it more dark. And then this is the uh, polyurethane that I picked up. I did the semi-gloss. And that's that. And then this is the paint that I picked up for the bottom of the table, which is bare. And I got the um, satin enamel. And this is the color that I got it in. It's a really light cream. And that's the name of it. If you would like to know, I will um, have all of this stuff linked in the description box below. And then I just got my paint stirrers that come with the paint and the opener. And then I picked up these two brushes too. Um, I'm not sure which brush I'm going to use, but I'm thinking this will, these will be used for the stain. And then I picked up these as well. And I think I'm going to use this one to paint the bottom of the table the color of the bare paint. And then I have this one just in case I want to use that for the top as well. But this is the stuff that we have and our first step is to do the pre-stain. <laughs>
guys, so this is where some of the voiceover will come in. Um, and this step right here, after I put the pre-stain on the table, you are supposed to take a rag and wipe off the remaining pre-stain that did not soak into the wood. So that is what I'm doing in this clip. Um, when you finish that, then you can just go on to the next step of the staining. All right, so while we're waiting for the top of the table to dry, um, I'm going to go ahead and start painting the uh, legs and around the edges of the table. So I'm going to open my paint and um, I got my little paintbrush here and we're just going to start painting that while the rest of it dries. <laughs> Okay, so now while the bottom's drying, I'm going to go ahead and stain the top with the gray. I re-sanded it and wiped all that off, and it should be good and dry now. I do have a few spots right here I'm a little concerned about. I'm not sure what's causing that. I did sand over it, so hopefully after I stain it, it won't be too noticeable. And if it is, you know, I plan on putting a centerpiece in the middle of the table. Anyway. <laughs> Here I've put on my first coat of the stain and what you do is you let it set like three to five minutes then you wipe it away with a cloth. As I was wiping it away I was not really happy with the outcome of it because it looked very faint and I was afraid that maybe I did not leave it setting on long enough. Therefore I had to go back and do a second coat and I still came out with the same outcome. <laughs> Okay, so this time I used a rag to apply the stain to the table and as I was applying it I really pushed the stain into the wood and it seemed to take it a lot better. I don't know if it was the pressure or maybe I didn't put it on as thick and it was allowed to dry a little bit more but as I removed it I realized I had to scrub the stain a little bit harder to make it come off the table and it took it perfectly this time. So that's my advice to you guys. Just apply it with a rag or something and as you're applying it really push the stain into the wood. Okay so the table has been drying for about an hour now. I just wanted to make sure that my stain was really going to dry before I started putting the polyurethane on. So this is what the polyurethane looks like. And it's just like milky looking. And it says do not shake but to stir it up. So you're going to stir up the polyurethane really good. As you can see, it's a little thicker consistency than the uh, prep stain. And just make sure when you're stirring that you're scraping the bottom of the can and you're getting it all mixed up. And for this application, you use a paintbrush and you go with the grain of the wood. Um, you do one coat 
and it has to dry for at least an hour before you do another coat. Alright, so it is the next day. The table has been drying overnight. Um, still looks good. I have a spot right here. I'm not sure what caused that. I'm just going to lightly sand it and see if maybe I can get it out. But I, I ran my hand over the table. It feels a little rough. So what I'm going to do is take the uh, 220 grit sandpaper and just go over it with my hands a little. I'm not going to use the sand or nothing. I'm just going to use my hand to lightly sand over the top of the table to smooth it out some before I put my next layer of glaze on it. Okay guys, here you'll see me um, just wiping off the dust from where I sanded the polyurethane. You want to make sure to wipe this off before you put the final coat on because you do not want it um, getting into the final coat. Alright guys, sorry my camera shut off on me and I did not know. But after I taped around the edge of the table, I went around with my paintbrush and trimmed out the edge of the table. While I was going around, I also checked the um, legs of the table and all the other areas that I painted just to make sure they didn't need touching up. If they did, I went ahead and touched them up. So now I'm just going to let it set and dry a little while and then I'm going to have to go back, as you can see, with another coat. pulled off my painter's tape it totally bled into the tabletop so I all I did to fix that was take a rag and I just went around very lightly and try to rub it off or scrape it off as good as I could at this point I had not put my final coat of polyurethane on so I was not too concerned about messing that up because I knew the final coat would take care of it so I just went all the way around the edge of the table with a rag and just wiped off the best that I could what um, bled through the tape. Alright, so to finish up the table, all I did was a final coat of polyurethane and I let it dry really well overnight. Um, I don't recommend moving the table up to 48 hours just so you make sure everything is dry and exactly like it needs to be. But after that, the table should be ready to do whatever you want. And I was really excited with the way the table turned out. It looked really well. Um, at the end of this video, I'll put in some clips of what it looks like now for you guys after it's completely dry. If you 
you like the video, thumbs up in the comments below. Um, and just leave me your feedback on what kind of videos you guys would like. Um, I plan on posting a video kind of talking about what my channel is going to be about and the directions that I see for it and kind of more about myself and who I am. So if you like the video, please subscribe and stay tuned because I plan on making a lot more videos in the future. Thank you. Hey guys, here's some photos of the table after I finished it and put it in the kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. Thanks. Have a great day.